In the mystical undersea city of Lumina, known for its glowing coral and bioluminescent plants, lived Luna, a young mermaid celebrated for her magical singing voice. Her enchanting melodies had the power to heal and revitalize the underwater world, encouraging the growth of coral and maintaining harmony within the sea. Luna's voice was her identity and joy, cherished by all who heard it. One stormy day, while Luna was helping to guide fish to safety, a piece of shipwrecked debris, tossed violently by the storm, struck her. The impact was severe enough to rob her of her voice. The community of Lumina was left in despair, as was Luna, who felt she had lost a part of herself that she could never recover. Determined to regain her singing abilities, Luna sought the advice of Triton, an ancient turtle known for his wisdom and knowledge of law. Triton told her of the sea orchid, a legendary plant said to possess the power to restore a mermaid's voice. However, it resided in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean, known as the Shadow Trench. Accompanied by her vibrant friend Cora, Luna embarked on a perilous journey to the Shadow Trench. The path was fraught with challenges, they navigated through dangerous whirlpools that threatened to swallow them whole, dodged deep-sea predators with glowing eyes and sharp teeth, and solved puzzles in underwater mazes that tested their resolve and wit. After a long and taxing journey, Luna and Cora reached the Shadow Trench, only to discover that the sea orchid was guarded by a giant squid, infamous for its bad temper and the fierce protection of its territory. While Luna felt overwhelmed, Cora devised a plan, she distracted the squid, luring it away from the orchid. With her heart pounding, Luna seized the moment to approach the plant and carefully plucked a petal. However, upon obtaining the petal, Luna realised that her voice did not automatically return. It was then that Triton appeared, having secretly followed them to ensure their safety. He revealed that the true power of restoration came not from the orchid alone, but from understanding one's inner strength and courage. Encouraged by Triton's words and her own experiences, Luna tried to sing. At first, only a weak whisper came out, but as she recalled the challenges she had overcome and the courage she had mustered, her voice grew stronger. Soon, she was singing more powerfully and beautifully than ever before. Luna and Cora returned to Lumina, where Luna's renewed voice brought new life to the coral and lifted the spirits of all the inhabitants. Luna had learned that her voice was part of her, but her true strength lay in her resilience and the support of her friends, a lesson she would cherish forever.